So in this problem we're told that the radius of a circular disk is given as 19 centimeters with a maximum error in measurement of 0.2 centimeters. So let's start with A. So A says use differentials to estimate the maximum error in the calculated area of the disk. Round your answer to two decimal places. So what we want to do is first figure out the formula that we're using for the area of a disk. So it's basically just an area of a circle and we know the area of a, of a circle is just equal to pi r squared. So what we're going to do is use differentials. So what we want to do is find the derivative of this, and then, or basically we're just finding dA. So if we differentiate both sides, we'll get that dA over dr is equal to the derivative of pi r squared. So all we do is move the 2 down basically, right? So it's just pi times 2r. I'm just going to write as 2 pi r though. And then to get dA by itself, we can multiply both sides by dr. So we'll get that dA equals 2 pi r dr. And so what we want to do is plug in r, right? So they give us r, which in this case is 19. But dr is going to be our maximum error in measurement, so 0.2. So if we plug everything in, 2 pi times r, which is 19, and then times uh, 0.2, right? Because that's what dr is. So uh, 19 times 2 is 38, right? So this is 38 pi times 0.2. And so if you plug this in your calculator or whatever, you're going to get that it equals 23.876 and uh, so on. But it says to round to two decimal places. So we got to round this one. And since it's a 6, we round up. So it's going to be 3.88. So we have 23.88. And then, so let's start with B. So what is the relative error around your answer to four decimal places? So the relative error is just going to be your number here. So uh, 23.88. And then we divide by our original formula, so pi r squared. Uh, but r is going to be uh, whatever r is. So in this case, it's 19. So there's 19 squared. So if you go ahead and do this, uh, 23.88 divided by a pi times 19 squared is going to be equal to 0.02105 and so on. And so we're supposed to round to four decimal places, right? So we're rounding this one, since this is a 5, we round up. So it's just going to become 0.0211. So that's going to be the relative error. And then so C for the next one asks, what is the percentage error? So basically the percentage error is just multiplying this number by 100. So 0 0.0211 times 100. So if you go ahead and do that, you should get 2.1053, uh, right? So uh, that's just like the original number, but what we got to do is round to two decimal places. So this would round up. So it would become 2.11. So the percentage is going to be 2.11. And so, yeah, that's how you solve this problem.